today we're just waiting on one more person to come. How you doing there, uh, 75? Not too bad. Yourself? <laughs> well, let's see you guys are doing well. Looking out fun. Playing some Commanders. Yep. Super. I don't. I don't like your play mat anymore. <laughs> I'll change it one of these days soon. <laughs> it says need coffee, and you scratched up coffee and wrote tea. <laughs> so horrible. <laughs> if we're not the morning tea show. Ah, uh, no, what I did just to mess with you. <laughs> 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 oh, my lord. Let's see. Hmm. Let's get this party started in here. Let's get the party started and hot. If we yeah. are yeah, we are live. We're just waiting on somebody else to come in. Live. Well, if we don't get anybody live in a few minutes, I guess we can play. Some yep. commanders. I will keep and hope I don't regret. All right. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I can't keep the hand, even though I love it's going. I don't want to base my life on hoping to get two other colors. Sure you do. <laughs> like, when I win this game, turn two. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hit my keyboard and it started growling at me. <laughs> <laughs> keyboard. Yeah, cause you know how I like those sound effects. Right. Hey, DJ, you want to play with us, DJ? DJ, long hair. We got a spot open, DJ, if you want to join in. Appreciate you stopping by. All right, this is more keepable. More keepable, do, 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 do. Sarmon. <laughs> All yeah, right. Looks, looks like DJ's going to join us. Nice. Yep. Look at that. You know that little drawing of yours could be your new logo for your channel. <laughs> No, I'd rather have your logo, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah, this is a keeper. I don't like those words coming out of your mouth. <laughs> real, real world, what's going on? Real world, real world, what's up? Nice to see you back again. I should pull up chat. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. There you go. There's chat. Now I can read chat. Now I can read. Well, 
DJ says you got a dino deck on the ready. Yep. Well, it's a good thing I didn't play any of my dino decks. Oh my gosh, I don't like your commander. <laughs> Who's? Who's called him? Like Who's commander, commander are you talking about? Billy? Yours, to, uh, Tortoise. I don't like your commander. <laughs> <laughs> it costs seven mana for a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, the uh, effects of it, though. That's what I don't like. Ukima <laughs> <laughs> uh, stocking shadow. Just a partless partner. partner. I'm reading it. Yeah, this is a different way to play Magic, uh, the real, real world. Playing Commander. Hmm. It's a 100-card singleton, singleton deck. Cheer the other guy. Uh, what was that? Uh, my Commander ate the other partner. That is why he's not here. No. Hmm. Whoever gets here first. That's a pretty interesting commander, Ukima. Like I can see, yeah. he loves he loves he, this werewolf loves to be part of the sacrifice ally. It's like Demir aristocrat kind of style with the commander. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. All right, that's pretty cool. Then you got the wise Mothman. It looks like Dumbo with fur on his head. Kind of looks like Spock and Dumbo had a baby. All right, DJ's cleaning his desk off real quick so he can play. Mill mm -hmm. counters from what I remember. This be the uh, mm -hmm. first time I've had DJ on my channel. DJ. Well, you know, playing a game, that is. Mm -hmm. Who? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I see a kitty cat. Hold on. I'm going to mess with the kitty cat. Mm, baby. Well, looks like DJ ain't going to be able to make it. DJ. Yep. He already called in. He already called for a spot. Yeah, he did. Uh, Didn't check. I got to keep it fair because he did call. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I need somebody to... Uh, I'm kind of waiting on another per person, uh, DJ Longhair. Don't be struck. Because he, yeah. he he called a spot and want, he just cleaning his desk space off so he can join. Okay. If we play a second game, you're more welcome to you're more welcome to watch and then come back to the second oh. game. Oh no, we lost our bud. All right. Kind of feel bad about that. No. God damn it. How you doing, Death by Tacos? I wasn't trying to kick nobody out or nothing like that. Hmm. Audio not working. Ooh, that ain't good. Hmm. I don't know how he's calling his attacks then if his audio's not working. That just, I don't know. Hmm. 
DJ. Audio in Discord. Okay. Uh, Tortoise. Yeah. We need to go to Discord and uh, DJ's channel and log into one of his um, pods for um, audio for uh, Death by Tacos. Hello. Just mute yourself here. Oh, hey. Hello. 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 Jack. All right. I figured it out. Uh, oh. So what happened to Humble? We didn't know. We, were, we didn't know you was DJ. <laughs> yeah, because we we're like DJ's calling spot. Someone's jumping in. Now we just lost a fourth person. Egg blag. What the hell? If I known you was death by tacos, I would have known. <laughs> yeah. I was looking for DJ. Why, why'd you boot the other guy? I, I, I was we waiting. didn't boot the other guy. We, no. I was waiting for oh. DJ Longhair instead of Death by Tacos. Yeah, I know. I got that. And I couldn't say anything because I didn't have the audio figured out. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> Dang, blag it. <coughs> uh, do you want to hit up the other guy again? Or, or what's um, up? Yeah, I can see if I can get him. Get my Discord working. <laughs> All right. Let me go on my phone. We're already live. Already live. Live. We're singing songs tonight. Yeah, that's the trick. People are thinking we're going to be playing some Commander Bob. Really, we're going to be doing a musical number. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. With the sweet lyrics by DJ and the acapella backup by MTG Hibbly and I. Oh boy. Yeah. We're going to be seeing Kiss by Rose by Sill. Oh God. <laughs> but instead of that, that's saying way Kiss by the Rose. Out of my range. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You're DJ Longhair. Everything's your range. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got somebody else coming. Whoa. Tap the man up to cast spells. See, All right. See Watson. Who is ready to get their butt kicked today? I got to If I hit that high, though, that'd be awesome. <laughs> right, y'all, y'all can do the, uh, you know, the, ba, ya, da, 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 ba, ba, da, you know, <laughs> I'm only five <laughs> subs from 400 now. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> let's get those, let's get those uh, five subs, chat. Let's get those five subs. Whoa, way we can kick off a giveaway. Giveaway. That tourists can win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> last time. <laughs> that was I crazy. Win. I want to win a new commander deck. <laughs> that was crazy. Right. Can't, can't wait to do the playmats. That was crazy last time. Yeah, I jumped in on your stream, and all of a sudden, I won. Yep. Don't be bringing that Irish, Irish luck with you next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, that's the problem. It's not Irish like <laughs> Polish like. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> I think I got a song in DJ's head. It is now, damn it. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, good song. Oh, it's a great song. Fun movie too. The movie that I debuted on. Oh yeah, the that Batman and Robin. Forever. Yeah, uh, or forever. Yeah, forever. 
do, 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 I think that single baby just scared everyone away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Come here, kitty. Can smell my hand. Recognize me. Remember. Mm -hmm. Remember. Been away from the cats for a whole week. Yeah. They're inquisitive about me from dog sitting all week. Like, why do you smell like dog? <laughs> you smell weird. You don't belong here. Oh, but there is death by tacos. Yeah, it's my old gamer tag. You might as well just uh, name yourself. No one's uh, gonna rage. What? You should just might. You might as well just name yourself Taco Bell. <laughs> no. Same thing. No. <laughs> no south from the matter. <laughs> Dumb. 75. Here we go. We're back. All right. He's back. All right. Finally got, got a hold of him again. <laughs> nice, Richie. All right. Hey, you're back. So glad. Welcome, well, welcome back. All right. Let me explain what exactly happened. I'm used to DJ over here being DJ Longhair and not Death by Tacos. And I did not know it was DJ until he got his audio. And that's exactly who we was waiting for. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Little Caesars, uh, Wendy's, or a Decent Mexican Joint? Decent Mexican Joint. Okay, but... Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's uh, randomize the order here. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, why am I not first? <laughs> this is this game is rigged. I'm not first. You don't deserve I, to be first. <laughs> <laughs> I I deserve to be first. I've been right. watching dogs all week. Go <laughs> or, or get more you like, a, everybody get you a playable hand and or I got a playable hand, I got a playable hand. Playable hand. Yeah. Oh, DJ's going to play some magic this afternoon. I still got to see if I can pull off a stream today, too. Oh, oh mine's at five. Play. Well, eight Eastern for the Keychain Club. Whoop, whoop. Oh. Keychain. It was at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time is when I pull off my uh, Commander games, usually, well, on Saturday. Yep. Bill Billy and I share the same day for streaming Commander games, so people can get two games in on a Saturday. Yep. Yeah, got to fill mine tomorrow night. Well, yours. Yeah. Like, depending on how I'm feeling, I'll probably jump in on, try to jump in on that game, too, because I had a week with no magic. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know, that sucked. I've been fighting a uh, uh, a scammer uh, claiming a song. I actually have written consent from the artist to use that song, and they're trying to claim that shit. So I've been <laughs> fighting you, too. Wow. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, you can sign um, me up for that for your game, DJ. All right. We got two people here. So I got playables. One, two, three, four. Holy crap! Uh, I guess I'll go slow. Sure. Uh. Guess what? Everyone gets a force. Yay! Yay! Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I had the I used to have the retro version of that one before I sold it off for trades. Yeah. Okay, is that what I think it is? That's east. Okay, that's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, my turn. Yeah. Your turn. Yeah, that's a path, yeah. I even hit the space bar. <laughs> <laughs> the astronaut's uh, favorite place on the keyboard. Yeah. Mm. Then I shall play. Uh, dark water catacombs. Yeah. Then after that, I shall pass turn. All right. I'll draw a card and laugh my butt off because of what it is. Um, play Silver Bluff Canal or Bridge. Um, it's a tap artifact land. Indestructible. Pass turn. And I'm going to refill my coffee really quick. Why do you do that? Play Pesetu, whose shelter's all tapped. Oh, it'd be nice if I drew a card, too. That'd be amazing. All right. Is it back to me? Yep. Yep. Your turn, DJ. Okay. All right. So I didn't draw my card from last time, so I just did that. Uh, All right. Now, draw a card. Stop being a noob. Thank you. Okay. (laughs) Um... Um Dump Richie Dubs. All right, Blood Stay Meyer, popping myself for one. Stop hitting yourself. All right, I'm gonna go grab a Lando. I will go ahead and pass in the meantime. Okay. I shall draw forward. Oh turn. yeah. Then after this, to tap for a blue, and I have a little black floating. So play. Uh, you need, you need to filter one mana into that. Huh? It says to yeah, pay ta- one mana to tap it. Oh. So where's oh. the mana from? Oh 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 oh. Thank you, it. Go back. back. No, don't worry. Oh, the filter land. I didn't pay attention. I didn't either. Yeah. Hey, Blake. All right, new cut. Cut. You don't have to do that here. No, I sure don't. We trust you. Yep. All right, well, I should okay. play this. Oh. <laughs> tap it, tap it. No, I'm going to wait. Yeah, I'll just play that. And I'll pass turn. Pass turn. Tortoise will draw a card. Ooh, I like that card. That card is, a, is, is one of my favorite types of cards. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Everything the forest. Five seventy MTG. What's up? Five seventy. All right. I'm play an island. Pay two. Cast. Arcane Signet, and pass the turn. On top. Oh, okay. Swamp, uh, tough two, I'll lose two life from... Is everybody upside down? That depends on... um... Hey, Billy, if you flipped people's camera angles right. I'll play Arcane Signet. Arcane Signet, nice. It's a pretty solid play there, 75. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I like losing life. Uh-huh. It's going to go faster. It's going to go faster. Mm-hmm. I don't know why everybody's upside down. Well, because our cameras, like my camera is upside down, but on my end it doesn't. You go to the three dots at the corner, and you flip the camera angle so the cards are facing upwards, like facing that way. Oh, well, your case this way. <laughs> uh, tacos, you're up. All righty. 
Untap a Tabby. Drow. Ah, the tiger! Tap. Rhythm of the Wild. This is a of the Pass. All right. I shall draw for my turn. No, oh, damn it. DJ getting some. That's a good old 80s song there. In the rhythm of the night, dancing yeah. in the stars. Yeah, for a blue. Play rune crap. I got crabs. Then I shall play painted uh, wood. Everybody knows a card. Oh, we'll three from we mill three from burn crab. I'm sorry. Burn crab says we mill three. Everybody knows three. Yeah. What? From oh, Burn really? Crab. Whenever uh, land has splash vote under your control, each opponent mills three cards. Oh, so I got a mill too. Each opponent. Uh, each opponent. Yeah. Got some lands. Mm -hmm. Oh, not my trumpeting. And oh, land. Uh, the old hey. change is strike for me. That's the big cost. No, you don't mill three, Hillbilly. Oh, I don't? No. No, we just said opponents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. I'm just going to throw it back in the deck somewhere. And then shuffle. Mm -hmm. You got rid of my sneaky infect kill. God. And then after that, really I sh after that, I shall pass turn. All right, I got the space bar. Boop. All right, untap. And you're off. Torch. Roll. I'm off. There you are. Draw a card. For some odd reason, you keep losing connection. For what? That's what spell table is saying. It's probably just spell table popping out. Mm, let's see. Play Exotic Orchard for a turn. And pay three mana. Blue being important. Casting Monastery Siege. Naming cons. Where at the very mob keep I can loot. Hmm. You loot. And with that, my friends, I said it's time to go to 75. Sounds like a <coughs> nice <coughs> It's a lucky number. That's a good number. And I will play Relic Tower as one half turn. Mm -hmm. And then tap three for my commander. And boss. <laughs> turn DJ. Yep. <clears throat> this player has lost connection. Click here to kick him. That's what it keeps saying to you, Tortoise. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Hmm. All right. Down <coughs> page there. And they won't do it to you again. I don't know. Well, I don't know. But I didn't see nothing on my side at all. Hmm. I see no on my side. Hmm. All right, play land for turn. Tap all four. Uh, d uh, playing a forerunner of the Empire. And uh, I'm not going to attack with it, so I'll give it a counter. As soon as I can find my dice. Too much stuff on my desk. All right. All right. So I have that, and then I have I get to tutor a dino and put it on top of my desk. No, oh, you better not be going for Polyraptor. Hmm. Because <laughs> you'll just end the game, and not no one will win. Yep. <laughs> no, no. This one doesn't do infinite because it says you may, and then it is to each creature, so it would end up killing itself. But I can do it for three turns. Mm. But I don't have enough mana for it, so. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, with the other dino, it's infinite. All 
already. It's a good tutor, though. It is. Very scary. I am tutoring. Do I grab that bad boy? Sure. I will grab that bad boy to put on top of my deck. Not super cool. It's super cool. Uh, yeah. All right, and the cut shirt. Okay, right. that's on top of my deck. And pass. Okay. No untapped. Draw for turn. I will play or erotic orchard or by mills. How much? Uh, no. Wherever Dude. land enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent mills three cards. Three. Oh my god! There goes my raptors. Oh. Got a uh, pyromania, restless ridgeline, and my wrathful. I got oh. necromancy. Oh, I, uh, don't play on my behalf. Yeah. I forgot that as well. Necromancy is the best card that won out of those three. That's a card that lets the play yeah. stuff from the graveyard. Woo woo. I got you got darkness and propaganda for me. Darkness. Yeah. yeah. I remember when we thought darkness was a shiznit back in the day when we thought it was cool because it's a black fog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then after that, I shall pay one green. Play hard and scales. Yep. Then uh, I hate this land. I got to pay one to use it. But two lands give you blue black. Yeah. True. Play one and two to play Vexing Rad Ghoul. Then after that, I shall pass turn. Pass the turn. I can tap the manas of draw a card. Then I, wait. yeah, then I draw a card. Then I discard a card. Oh, my lord. What did I discard? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Discard in Grix Wake. Play Fable Passage for land for turn. All right. All right, so... Yeah, I need a presence on the board. Damn it, Hillbilly played two cards. That's two creatures. Pay three, and cast Chromatic Lantern. Then pay three and cast Flash Flashbag Marauder, where everybody sacrifices a creature. Oh. Uh, hey, Mike will Trucker. Uh, tortoise, you'll take two damage and I'll gain two life. All right. All right. That hurts. Well, there goes my plan for next time. <laughs> Did you pass? Oh, sorry. I was reading my hand. Yeah, pass turn. <laughs> oh. Two and play. Give me a signet. Went Wendy's. That one was going to try to give me up to 35 bucks, and 
This one's just under 30. Uh, Love oh. Tunnel be Demir Aquisart. I will bounce back this one. Boo -boo. All right. And uh, then I, I will filter Arcane Signet into Demir Signet for a blue and a black. Hey, I got to fix something. And I'll play Knight's Whisper. I draw two cards. Oh, wait, no, I don't. No, I don't. Never mind. Okay. Sorry. After that, I will pass. All righty. Um, tap, draw. Hmm. Mountain. And that mills killed me, so pass. All right. How do you have a creature on board, DJ? Mountain. What? How do you how do you got a creature on board? Oh, and I just made everybody sacrifice a creature. What are you talking about? I played Flash Brag Marauder last turn where everybody had to sacrifice a creature. Yep. Oh, bet. <laughs> had to sacrifice one creature. You must have been dealing with Wendy's at that time. Yep. All right. Yeah, probably. Draw for turn. <laughs> one, two, uh, three. Same driver from the other day. Hmm. Uh, this for two. <coughs> this play rogue trouble shooter. Once during each of your turns, you may cast a spell from long cards in your graveyard that were milled this turn. Tap it, each player mills a card. And then, after that, pass turn. Maybe one more pass mana turn. so I can uh, cast my commander. Yeah, all right, so I tap, I tap, draw a card, draw another card, I discard a card. How are, you, how are you drawing two cards there, Taurus? It's Monster A Siege right here. Okay. But now I'm thinking I got this card. card. Um, and I'll discard a Shivan Reef. Then. All right, Doug. So let me rethink that really quick. I haven't done anything. Uh, yeah, discard Shivan Reef. I'm going to pay five. And I'm going to cast Blood Gift Demon. And I will pass the turn. So I just looking up the dust in Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, untap. So, what is seeing that? everyone's upside down? It's just uh, earlier. Um, and... didn't flip our videos on his side. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I flipped them. All right. Do, 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 do. Play swamp. Snap turn. I will filter into the signet and tap the savior for green due to Yavimaya, the green mana. And I will cast Champion's Helm. 
Nice. So it would be nicer if I have my commander around. Four mana. Which I can't do. Okay. Um, I will then tap for three and play cast Robe of the Archmage Archmage Eye. Um, and pass. Pass turn. One question before you begin your turn, DJ. What's your commander? You didn't, you didn't type it in the computer. Right. Oh. Uh, are we on uh, Hillbilly? Yeah, it's your turn. It's okay. Oh, my turn. Okay. Yeah. Fable Passage, tap. Uh, one, two, three. Urza's Incubator. Maybe. And then I'll go ahead and pass there. Okay. Wimp. I will untap. Oh, I told you the mill screwed me over, so yeah, that's what it is. You're all for turn. The sacrifice screwed me up for a little bit. Mm. That too. With and of course, calling out calling dinos. Out calling out dinos. Yeah, for for incubator. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I see. I'm like, no one's. I thought you like same people were hating on you for calling out dinos. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, so I'll pay five, two, three, four. To play my commander, and everybody gets a rad counter. Rad mm. counter. That is not rad, but it's rad. Uh, this is my guy. Rad. Okay. DJ's rad. That's right. And after that, I shall pass turn. You know, they call DJ long hair because of his mullet so long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, untap, draw a Why card. Why are you copying me, Tortoise? <laughs> right, yeah, that's exactly what's going on. I draw a card and lose a life. You got the same dice, bro. What's up? My, mine are, those are, I have the red green ones I do, but those are red black. These draw are red green. Yeah, I have red green dice like that, but these ones are red black. Uh, I got this card. A card. Um, ah, uh, uh, it's not fun. I got this card. A card. Uh, I like all the options in my hands to stay there. Um, I discard a merciless executioner. Lucky you guys. You guys get to keep your creatures for a bit. Um, my tap sack, fable passage for a swamp. And since I have four lands, it comes to play untapped. Then, then I'm gonna pay two, and I'm gonna cast the mock tutor. What's it called? The mock tutor. It is indeed a card. 
What? Yep. No, I'm just saying that's a card. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a good card. Thank you. Okay. I thought there was a question in there. Um, I'm going to play the card I'm tutoring. No, I'm not. Um, I'm going to get this card. No, no. Uh, uh, what am I doing? That's a card. There. You don't need to see it. But he will sure love it. That was a fun card. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, that goes to the graveyard. That, uh, pay one. Cast Sensei's Divine Top. Pay three. Cast Cemetery Reaper. Yay. And that will be my turn. What's that top do? Uh, I can pay one mana. On you look at the top three cards in my library, put it back in any order. And I can tap the top to replace it with the top card of my deck. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Land for turn will be Wasteland. I'm Wasteland. only going to pop it. Yeah, we're only going to use it to destroy if there's something like a Gaia's Cradle or maybe break up a Urborg to Ujok Moth, Grokov is combo kind of thing. So hopefully I will not have to use it, but it's only for those kind of situations. Oh, uh, Tortoise, did you uh, take your red counter? It's right here. Did you do it? Oh, no. I went to, we went to mill. No, no, I need this card card for the red. No, I mill a card. Yep, you mill a card. There you go. Ouch. What is it? It's a non-line card, so I removed my counter. Yep. Uh, you would also get this, which is a non-line card. Do we lose a life as well? Yep, you lose a life when also. Okay, cool. I'm just making sure I know what to do. Okay, so this would be my off time. The only way you don't lose life is if you mill a land. Yep. Okay. Uh, filters to that for three, four, five. Recast my commander. Commander. I missed you so much. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. You little kitty kitty, you. Yeah. I will. Pay one and equip Champion's Helm to my commander. Unless there's effects to me doing that. If not, he has Hexproof and is plus two, plus two. Mm -hmm. you you. After that, I shall pass. Alrighty, untappy tappy. So I draw first, then do the red. Yeah, correct. Do I get to choose or no? No. All right, it is a cultivate, so I keep my red. Yep, you lose a red and you lose one life. Yeah. No, if it's I when you, if I when you hit a land card, nothing happens, and you keep your rad counter. Right. Oh, I see. So I lose a life in the rad. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. I need six. Alrighty, and there you go. Plate of Mountain. I'll go and uh, 
sack my uh, Fable Passage for a land. Let's see, find myself a four ass. I miss my hardened scales, triggers. Yeah, you can have the captains. Uh, where are you for asked? No, I just realized, little Billy, this might be a deck you put doubling season in because it'll double your rad counters. Mm-hmm. I thought about it. I got it back here on my wall still. Mm-hmm. From the windows to the wall to the wall, rad counters all down the falls. You're gonna mill, 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 mill. You're gonna mill, 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 mill. Where are my forest? Oh, there you go. I thought you forest ran. Remember your run forest one comment? Yep. Run forest one. Hey. Well, with that, I'll go ahead and pass. All right. I will untap. We're off for turn. Hmm. Cards in hand. Um, so who has the most life right now would be DJ. So three, four, five. I swing five in the air at DJ, and everybody gets a rad counter. How rad! One, two, three, four, five, and then it's commander. Yo. It ain't got no plays, so I shall pass turn. All right. And tap, and tap. Let's see if I did this right this time. Draw one, draw two, draw three. And I'll discard a Temple of Deceit, lose a life. Play Swamp for turn. After you draw, do your raid. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, Brad. Yeah. Oh, Dark Tutelage. Do not mind losing that. So uh, I that get a uh, two, three, four. Actually. All right, that's actually just going to tap out. Cast commander. And I'm going to enter combat. And then I'm going to swing our hillbilly for seven. But when he attacks a hillbilly, hillbilly must sacrifice a creature. I must sacrifice a creature. You must sacrifice a creature. Mm, see what damage is that? Six, six. Right now it's seven, but when you sacrifice, he'll change to an eight. Holy crap. Yeah. So it's going to be plus one, plus one. Yep. It'll be seven. Let's see, four. No, 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 no. I got a lord out. Oh, that. Oh, it's a zombie. It's a... Oh, okay, I missed that. I didn't yeah. realize it was a zombie. Yep. And then I'll take the six. Dang, blag it. So that's eight damage. Hey, Commander. And with that, I'll pass the turn. Dag, like it. On top. Dag, like it. 
uh, get straw, then the rat counter is correct. Yeah, you draw, then you do your ad. So, yeah, sorry, just get, getting used to it. Yeah. Draw, mill one, ooh, that's a, that'll be a nice spell for later. Uh, you milled Aether Snap, so that's a, I could have gotten rid of all those counters. Uh, Tortoise, do you have any Greyguard shenanigans going on in your deck? Uh, just, just a bit of reanimator. So, you, okay, so you do have some reanimator stuff going on. Yeah, like you saw a card when I milled it. I pointed out that I, that I had a necromancy in the deck that got milled by Hibbley. Yeah. Round uh, four, will... six games. Prime. <laughs> I will Paducah Bok you, Tortoise. You'll do what? To exile Paducah Bok to exile your graveyard. Yeah, that hurts. Right, we got a fifth. So a fifth, was, we got us a fifth. What happened? Go, hurt. go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It hurt when you exile my commander. Oh, so maybe you sacrifice it. Yeah, it hurts. But you guys, you got yours back, man. You got yours back. Nice. I'm sure. Well, hopefully it's helping you mill, so <laughs> yeah. there's always you to get stuff back. Yep. Okay. Filter to tap for one for three. I will cast Crafted War Gear. And then I'll attempt to equip it to Commander. Giving it plus three, plus two. All right. Oh, so when you get another creature, you can unattach it and sacrifice your creature. I can uh, unequip it from zero and yeah, it sacrifices it. You can only unequip it if you have another creature. Like you have to have another creature to unequip it from your commander. That's the weird world. No, no. Yeah. I can unequip any time, I thought. I didn't but, I yeah. seen anywhere where I need two creatures to unequip us. Yeah, that's how, that's how I learned. Like a long time ago, Mirrodin was one of the equipments where I made a newer thing for Mirrodin and all that from 2005-ish. I'm going to Google that just because that's the first I've heard. And Google it, will... it. Yeah, no, dude, Google it. It's it's weird. Just just because if that is, that does definitely affect how I would play. Mm -hmm. You cannot unequip an equipment without equipping another creature. Okay, so I do. I need two creatures to All unequip. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I'll be right back. Yeah, I told you it's weird. We because like when we first started playing with equipment, we thought you could unequip from a creature without a creature, but by paying the equip cost. But you can only unequip a creature by paying equipping it to another creature, and that's the backside of the equip cost. I never knew that. Yeah. It, I told you it's weird. After you. Sorry, Hillbilly. Yeah. Big nab. What's that? Oh, I, I said I said a swear word. Oh, <laughs> all right. I didn't hear. It. I didn't catch. It. Uh, <laughs> all right. Two, five, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, tortoise, I'll swing at you for seven with my commander. Why? Because I taught you something. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. What one doesn't work well with? Sacrifice. Uh, I will pass. <laughs> okay, now we gotta wait on DJ to get back. Prime says mm -hmm. uh, we got another player, Prime four oh six games. He casts farewell into Armageddon. <laughs> oh my lord. Exiles the board and removes all the lands. <laughs> What's up, Prime? <laughs> with you. 
<laughs> Even with the equip thing, I hate when drivers the ignore the rules. What's going on? It's your turn. Okay. The uh, 75 tech torts. What's up? Uh, 75 attack tortoise. 75? Yeah, he attacked oh, tortoise. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, well, I just I equipped an equipment, learned a new thing I didn't know about the rules, and then attacked. All right, so here's the rad. It is a land, so nothing happens. All right. Mm, mountain. Did you draw first? Yes, I did. All right. Uh, 75. Are we more worried about tortoise or freaking hillbilly? The hillbilly done right now, uh, so for, for me, it's kind of even. Mill isn't the best mean, but sacrifice for me is worse. But threat level wise, with what they're doing, it's about even, for, in my opinion. All right, sacrifice and sucks. <laughs> yeah, I don't have my anti sacrifice equipment in this deck. Oh, yeah, you're not in the colors. This is a green creature that came from um, uh, Rise of Adrazi that makes it where people can't make these sacrifice creatures. Uh, there's, there's another card which is an equipment. Uh, it's the Salt Suit. So I think I did land for turn. Um, right. two, three, four, five, six. All right, I got a big play. Nice. Mm. Where's the card? All righty, there goes nothing. Oh, One, this two, three, four, five, six. Oh, nice. That's an uncommon, too. Yeah. And you I can pass the this. equipment around if you want. Sorry, go mm -hmm. ahead. No, it's just saying what the card did. Go ahead. Do your thing. Go ahead, DJ. Stick. Two discount. Golta. Ooh, nice. Nice. Can't be countered. Um, so I'm going to do this this first before uh, choosing, which I'm probably all going to go haste. Well, oh, actually, I don't have to. Hmm. All right. Um, so this has haste, but it gives all my other uh, creatures haste. So I'm doing this effect here. Boom. Gigantosaurus, uh, Golta, and Polani. Um, I will go ahead and put uh, counters on those two as they have uh, haste now from that. And I will give uh, the Hatcher um, haste from uh, Rhythm of the Wild. Mm, okay. And then, um, yeah. Uh, blockers, uh, uh, Hillbilly, and Tortoise. I got a 2-2. Two, two. I got a... Oh, wait. I also two, got five. a 5-4-2. Uh, I got a 2-5. Hold on. Hold on. Um, create two zero one green dinos. At beginning of combat on your turn, if you control one or more eggs, sacrifice an egg, do a 3-3 three, three, uh, dino. <laughs> now, so, those tokens don't have right, but your creature gives them haste. Exactly. So there's a zero token. one. All right, you have twenty. You have a two-two, and you have twenty-seven life. Yeah, I have a five. I have a five-four flyer too. Oh, I 
Okay. Um. So being in combat, this turns it over to a 3-3. Three, three. So you have a 3-3 three, three and a 5-5. Five, five. And then what do you have, uh, Hillbilly? All I got is a 2-5. Uh, a, uh, hmm. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I gotta push through. All right. Um, hul hulking on tortoise. How much is that? Uh, you got a three, three, a an eleven, eleven. Um, those don't have trample. Total. I'm getting there. Okay. Uh, thirteen, thirteen. And a five three, so five uh math eighteen um twenty nine and three what what? So I'll just take it. You want you killed him. I could have wiped your okay. board next turn, so oh really? Fine. Oh okay. <laughs> I, I really wanted to go after Homeboy, but I was like, ah, dude. Okay, um, hold on. Math. I got to do the math here. 5 plus 3 plus 13 plus 11. So 32. Sweet. I'm going to pay uh, 2 as I get the discount here. And I will, will add a token. So I put 32... Um, on homeboy for uh, bloodthirst. Ooh. Bloodthirst happens when he enters the battlefield, right? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. an old Ravnican ability for gruel. So thirty-two freaking counters. Um, that's six. It's 12. Yeah, that's 32. And then plus one for uh, Rhythm of the Wild. I still have my rat counter. Um, Yeah, dude. With that, I say pass. Uh, okay. That is... I think Untap. Draw for turn. Um, everybody mills three cards. Two, three. Land, land, land. Land, heroic, and Rascal's Contempt. You did get my side, though, which is clear. I could have given a command of life, I think, if I so choose, but that land is gone. I can't, though. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, still not on there. Dang it. Hey, two. Play Talisman of Dominance. And then...
play uh, Jason Bright, Glowing Prophets. Whenever a zombie mutant you control dies, if its power is different from its base power, draw a card. A two, sacrifice a creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control, it gains flying until end of turn. <coughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. EJ is the threats. A swing four, five, six, seven in the air. DJ commander damage. I didn't take my rad. Do my rad. How much? Seven. Uh, so we can So second round, and how much damage? Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. In the air. Okay. Um. And then. Twelve. Whoo! All right. Then after that, I shall pass turn. Untap. I believe I can do something funny. I will. Oh boy. Draw. And then. Build for a man to doubting that. Which would be a nice ramp card. Ramp time will be Command Tower. Uh, Death, do you have any untapped mana? Who? Uh, Tacos, do you have any untapped mana? Nope. I got one untapped mana. Uh, do you want just in case? I'm going to be extra careful. I will... Filter to mere signet, so. Oh, I ain't got nothing. Blue, black. Wait, Come what is it? Blue. Uh, Eisen Guard paying two life, so it is uncomfortable just in case. I'm going to cast Reigns of Power. Untap all creatures I control and all creatures target opponent, which will be you, Tacos. Controls. Untap? Yep. You and the opponent each gain control of all creatures the other player controls until end of turn. Those creatures mm. gain until end of turn. I'm going to attempt to have some dinos. Until end of turn or permanently? End of turn. But they do mm. have haste. Yep. And what do I have as blockers? Uh, you have Mike Modra's blocker, which is seven power. Pets proof. No. So. Yeah. Okay. I shall go to combat and I shall swing uh, your commander, Golter, and the other big dino. Okay, so I have a question. Yes. Um, on the enraged, do I get that or you get that? Shoot. Um, he, he should get it since he controls it, it now. It, yeah. Yes, I would get the enraged trigger. All right. Well, good play, sir. I'm out. Rui. 
Oh, and your commander would block the my commander. Uh, you do have a uh, trigger on the stack, which is, um, let's see, it was 33 plus 3, so 36. Go ahead and uh, figure out how you want to roll that out. I guess it would be a D6, right? Yeah. So, and then you can either stack a, a – so, Hillbilly, you could stack a thing if it, if it lands on you, which you probably should, mm -hmm. or he's going to win the game. Okay. So uh, that's how that works for uh, the Dino. So, yeah. so I'll, let's go ahead and sack. Uh, I'll roll dice. So odds will be tacos, evens will be hillbilly. It is evens. So hillbilly, you get the raise trigger. Okay. So that means I got a sack. Okay, I'll sack the room. Um, huh? Uh, yes, that's a new tap trigger. So yeah, you, you count doing that. I don't have no counters for it. I can't counter it. No, sack it. It doesn't yeah. happen. Okay, yeah. so I sack mm -hmm. this, and I get to draw a card from this. And then hmm. before your damage commander's goes gone, through, um, seventy-five. Your commander's gone because it blocked the uh, hybrid. Or hybrid blocked it. Oh, that was the. Oh, I, I control hybrid. No. Oh wait, no. Oh yeah. Um, but I blocked with your so commander. I, that. So, yeah. Um. So I was just trying to work out sets because I do have a. Resp I would have. I would have a response to blocks. Well, like I said, as I said, I'm out, but this blocks your commander, therefore triggering this. So my, I'm sorry. I block with your commander this. That's what I said oh, earlier. Still down. Oh, when it does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That was rushed uh, Then we okay, had the trigger yeah, to uh, hit homeboy, and then he blocked it, or he sacked for it, and then, yeah. And then you have the rest of the thing magic. Uh, you would also have, well, you would have all the damage going at you, Tacos, but you would also have um, on the death trigger, my commander has a lead the battle trigger, which would, you would get. Oh, but I die. Wait, so can... it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> it might do because you gain life from it. How much life? Because you were Same. hitting me for, yeah, that's not enough. I was at twenty six, so you you swung like thirty six plus at me. Uh, you can still ding someone for seven two because it you can do X damage where it's X is a pound gain X life, so you can do seven damage to target player. Oh, I see. Uh, I guess I could ping you back. I I guess. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So take seven. Of, of your own commander damage? <laughs> I don't think it, it's non-combat damage, so I don't think it counts. Non-combat oh, okay. damage does not work. For All right, that's fine. Oh, I still take damage, yeah, it's just not commander. Okay. With that. Um, you uh, take your raid counters? Yes, I did take the I didn't lose life from rad counter actually, but I, I did the rad counter mill. Okay. So five, seven. That would be on tap then, because I didn't do the thing. So I've got one, two, four, five, six. Black. Not enough black. That's annoying. Okay. Uh, I'm bombed. Missing the nuggies and no straw for me. <laughs> and no ranch, bastards. <laughs> that hurts. Man. That hurts. Yeah. I'll tap four and play Sun Opta. And then pass. Okay. Untap. That was a beautiful only play. I, I, I'm only slightly salty. <laughs> <laughs> only because he, he, he got me good, bro. <laughs> 
I've got the few effects like that where it's just well, just two. combat tricks, which I can either use it to make all the combat damage zero, or that's probably the most powerful one where I gain control of mm. people's boards. But it can also be used as a fork effect because it's it's the speed. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I had definitely enough. <laughs> so good job. This hurts. Uh, take two to land cycle my flooded pools. Draw a card. Wow. A path of ancestry. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four to play Recon Craft Thera flying when it enters the battlefield. I create a zero zero. Alien creature token put plus one plus one counter on it. Whenever a recon craft the attacks proliferate. So we get two counters because of hardened scales. Uh Six, seven, eight, nine. I shall swing nine commander damage. Your way, uh, 75. No effects. And uh, get a rad counter. Right, is two. Whoops. I also get a rad counter. And then after that, I show pass turn. Hold on one second. I think DJ said he was out, right? Yes, I killed him with his own dinos. Okay. On top. Draw, mill two, land, cranial plating, so I lose life. And you get a counter. Mm. That is a non land. Okay. So I would have. That's that would a fun uh... one. I'll play Temple of Deceit as my last turn. Scry. I'll leave that up. No, that will go down to one rat counter. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. How many rat counters did you have? I had two rat counters. I had two rad counters and I milled one non land. So I'm on one. Right, you mill you mill another one too too. Yeah, you I milled a rad and the non land. Okay. Yeah, I, I had two rad counters. I milled two cards. One was land, one was non land. All right. Okay. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These lands stay <laughs> untapped. I shall recast my commander. Uh, I'll equip Crafted War Gear to it. And yeah, that was tapped. And I shall pay two life and equip Champion's Helm to my commander, giving it hexproof. After that, I shall pass. Okay. Do you untap? Just so you know, you can have some opt out, so you can only attack with one creature. You can only attack with one? Yes, until this is removed. Okay. You can only attack and block with one creature. Draw for turn. Take my red counter, land, so I keep my red. Oh, I didn't tap my commander. Okay. Hmm. Your creature has hexproof. hexproof. My commander has, has hexproof. This one does not. Okay. I can only attack with one creature. Correct. And I can only block with one. I'll swing my commander at you for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In the air. We get, both get a rag counter. Yep. And... Uh -huh. In response to the attack, I am going to tap two and cast planar insertion. Okay. So exile target artifact or creature, which will be, will be your commander, okay. then return to the battlefield under its control with a plus one plus one counter on it. Okay, six, seven, eight. No, it, it goes away, you lose the counters, then comes back with two. Right. So it'll come back with two plus one plus one counters on it. So I'm making it smaller. Making it smaller? Yeah. Oh. Because when it leaves the battlefield, it loses the counters it currently has. Hmm. And it just. Okay. And it gets one plus one plus one? Yeah, so it'll be two because All of right. one scales. And would come in untapped. But I don't take damage that way. Okay. Mm. And then. I'm going to put my next main phase, play a creature. Green. to play Taito Farmer as landfall whenever land enters the battlefield under your control you may get two rad counters tap it put target land card land card 
in a graveyard that was milled this this turn in, onto the battlefield under your control tapped. Nice. Then after that, I shall pass turn. On top. Uh, Will for out. That is a land and a land. So no counters. Right. Still keep them. Yep. Uh, I'll filter two into here. Three. Four. I will attach Rube of the Arch Magi to my commander. So whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I draw that many cards. Mm. Its power is currently seven. So I would draw seven cards. Uh, Hillbilly, I'm going to swing my commander unblockable at you for seven. Seven? Ready? Seven unblockable. Uh, I don't comment that to you, so I'll draw seven cards. That's a fun card. I'm trying to put it in the deck now. Okay, I shall play. Math turn. Last turn? Uh, no, I'm playing a land. Turn. Uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's good. I like that. Uh, I will. No, this one. Tap one for soldering. Then one, two, and soaring. I will cast Mask of Grizzlebrand. Hmm. After that, I pass. Okay. I'll untap. Draw for turn. Mill to land. Oh man. Reservoir tide. So I lose one rad counter and one life. And shall tap my creature. Bring. Painted Tide back from the graveyard because it was just milled. And then you can only attack with one creature, right? Right. Hmm. Until you get rid of this thing. Let's see. Did that come in tapped? No. Play my land for turn. I'm going to three, four, five. Swing five commander damage at you in the air. No blocks. So everybody gets a red counter. So I take five. One, two, three, four, five. 
and go to my second phase. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play Shamel, the inner son. I have a response to that. Okay. I'm going to attempt to negate that. Okay. Hmm. And that's all I can do. Last turn. On top. Draw. No three. Mm. No land. Probably reforged. No land. Black. One land. One non that. One land, one non land so far, one more card to mill, land. So, two counters, actually. Okay. Play a land for turn. Uh, one, two, and Relic Tower for three. I will oh, that should be to, uh, read the bones, scry two, draw two, and lose to life. Those can both go to the bottom. Draw two cards. And I lose two life. That does not exactly save me. How big is your commander? It's a uh, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay. I will tap a blue and a colorless for Artificer class. So the first artifact spell I cast each turn is one less to cast. I'll then tap a blue and a black to <clears throat> level it up. And I will reveal cards on top of my library until I reveal an artifact card. That is Baleful Strix. Okay. Oops. Which I'll just call. This should be untapped. And so it's got power. It's... That. Uh, seven power. Fourteen. Okay. I will tap for three. To equip Mask of Grizzlebrand to my commander. I will then 
tap the black. Reduce by one, all cost. Talisman of Dominance. Then pay one life for a blue. And then black. Lose one life. And I will cast Baleful Strix. Flying Death Touch. Lock the plea. When I dispatch, I draw a card. I shall go to combat. And I shall swing my commander on block wall for seven at you, Hillbilly. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That has lightning, so I'll gain seven life. And I'll draw seven cards. After that, there's nothing I can do. First one. Yeah, okay. I pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. Nail two. Artifact. And sorcery. I lose two life. Lose my rad counters. And then I also get counters from hardened scales. So it's four, six. Mm. Play my land for turn. Let's see. I can do this or not. One. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Tap six to play Casualties of War. Choose one or more. All right, story. Let's see. What's your enchantment do? This one. Yep. Uh, at the moment, it reduces the cost of my first artifact spelled by one generic mana. Okay. Mm. And if I choose to level up next turn, I can make a copy of an artifact at my instead. Okay. Uh, see, what all you have equipped in your commander? Uh, I've got crafted war gear, which gives it plus three, plus two, and when it becomes unattached, I sacrifice my commander. Or sacrifice the creature. Okay. Uh, Champion's Helm, uh, which gives it plus two, plus two, and Hexproof. Rib of the Archmage Eye, which means whenever I deal combat damage, I draw cards equal to the power. And Mask of Grizzle Brand, which gives it Flying, Lifelink, and if my creature dies, uh, I pay X life where excess power, or I may pay X life where excess power and draw cards. Okay. Uh, your bird is a artifact, right? Correct. All right. Your your planes want your commander has hexproof. Yes. I can't target your commander. So I'll target your bird for the artifact. 
your yep your uh, enchantment right there under your bird. That yeah, is gone. Then get rid of one of your lands. Sorry. Take one. Get rid of one of your lands. That's probably quantile you want. Yeah. At least that is. It don't matter. <laughs> Just one. Yeah, you've got game. And then after that, I still can only attack in with one. Correct. So. I'll swing in, and um, no, I didn't get my counters from my from my mill. Six, seven, eight. So he goes from six. It's two from one, and he gets four from the second one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So he's a thirteen, thirteen creature commander. I'll swing in with yep. my commander. Thirteen, thirteen. I have no effects and I die. Good game. Good game. <sighs> that was tough. All right. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody showing up to this game. If y'all want to, we can go again or we can uh, start another game. I'll, I'll probably be heading off as it's starting a bit late. All righty. Uh, yeah. If you didn't kill me, that was something you didn't with the Strix, uh, I definitely could have killed you next turn. <laughs> yeah, I was afraid of that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I found what I was digging for to begin with, which was things like uh, Sanguine Bond or Ooh. Wound Reflection. Nice. My next card was a land. Hmm. Guardian Project, land. I'm getting my lands. <laughs> All righty. Good game. Yep, good game. Good game, indeed. Sorry that I took the long at the end. All right, anybody in the chat want to join in on this? Richie, anybody? I know Prime can't because he's probably at working. But if he's not at work, he's more than welcome to join us. Hey, Taco Tony. You want to play Taco Tony? Oop, got my commander. Waiting on DJ to come back. <laughs> That sounds exciting. Yeah. Mm, that ain't good. All right. Taco Tony. Taco, Taco, Taco Tony. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yo. Yo. What's up? So, who got it? Yeah, mm. That yeah. role reversal shit. I was like, "Fuck, dude!" <laughs> <laughs> Good play. Nothing I can do. Yeah, it was. Man, 
Are we still alive? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're still alive. Oh, okay. And I can't find my commander. So let's go. Do we need another? Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we can play. Yeah, we need another person. Yeah, I think this uh, game will go by faster. Eight. I'm gonna run Rafik today. I'm gonna try to run Rafik tonight. Yep. Yeah. Do 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 do. Yeah. Uh, POA, POA, POA. I'm gonna see if he started a game or not. Yeah, all right. He was down earlier. Uh, there's anybody in chat wants to join in with us you're more than welcome the link is in the discords and uh, super fast tortoises discord DJ's discord or mine that's right DJ All right. Well, I don't know if POA got a game. I don't see anything on his server. Uh, I don't know if he just had a break or something. Uh, let's see, Commander. Oh, dude. Oh, interesting. Um... Okay, today. Uh, all right, yeah, uh, no response yet. I know he was down to join the first one. Boop, boop. Everybody come up, get down, sickness. Everybody come up, get down, right, Taco sickness. Tony, you want to join us? I need one more person. Yeah, the, yeah, we need one more person because I need a chance to lose. Do 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 do. Current live stream on MTG. Hell. Trying for you guys. Uh. Live stream. Hey, oh, say, oh, speaking of which, did you see that trailer yet? What trailer? For uh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah. No. Yeah, I seen it. Yeah, they got most of the crew back. I'm surprised. Yeah. And it's yeah. Uh, the daughter is uh, uh, the girl who played Wednesday. Oh yeah, yeah. The daughter. But... No, the daughter is grown. No, no, no. no, no I'm saying the daughter of the daughter kind of thing. Oh yeah, I assume. Wednesday's daughter, might as well say. Well, it's just that girl who plays Wednesday. Yeah, her daughter. Can't believe they're making another Jurassic Park movie. Thought they ended the franchise, but they didn't. Jurassic Park? Yeah. They haven't put out enough. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, there's nine movies out there. Or right, no. 
Yeah. There's, there's six six movies out there. Jurassic World, Jurassic World, Dominion. Yeah, there's six movies. But they're making another one. Wow. And you know what's bullshit is that Right now, there's rumors that the guy who died by the Raptors in the first movie is going to be in the main, one of the main characters in the ne- next movie. Oh, really? Yeah, you know the guy who says "clever girl," Robert Muldoon. Yeah. 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 Like he's well, unless it's like be... a prequel. Oh well, well, the dude. No, I'm talking about the original actor. So unless they do some CGI stuff to make him look young again. Yeah, it's true. I'm sorry. I was giving uh, current writers a uh, benefit of the doubt. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's not too much. It's just rumors right now. Yeah. Like I like the, I think it take away from the original. I think it take away from the story if they brought him back. You know. Now you know he survived that moment. It's never going to be the same anymore. If they do. But like right now they're. They're in talks of getting the lady who played Black Widow to be a lead in the movie. So, like, so it's it's up in shambles. Like, I think it'd be cool if they made a prequel, like telling John Hammond's story and how they set up the park and everything for the original movie. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, but like. But like, how how are they going to further themselves? I mean, like, I like Dominion, Jurassic World Dominion enough, but I think they flopped on so many levels in that movie. Mm-hmm. Like, like the one reason why we like Jurassic, the Lost World Jurassic Park, the second movie from the original trilogy, <laughs> is because we thought the third oh. movie was going to be Dinosaurs yeah. on the Mainland, and they didn't do it. Then they bring back Jurassic World. Then they do Jurassic World, um, not Dominion, but the one with the Indoraptor. And they're like, they make it look like they make the dinosaurs escape so they're on the mainland. And they end the film like they're terrorizing the mainland, which is pretty cool. And that's what we've been wanting. Then they do the third film, Dominion, and... The whole story is not encompassing dinosaurs on the mainland. Now, there's dinosaurs throughout the mainland, but we wanted the story to encompass them taking care of dinosaurs on the mainland, like in the cities and towns, how they're handling the dinosaurs. But no, no, no. You know, you know, writers, they like to mess things up. But, but sadly, COVID changed a lot of the script, so maybe that changes the filming process a lot. And they still teased that the Mosasaurus is in the ocean. Well, yeah. We can play tw- between the three of us, or we can try to get another player. Well, well you got a fast deck? I do. Uh, there's Rusted. Uh... I'm gonna celebrate that win with a piece of candy. <laughs> oh boy, Ooh, candy! Oh, let's load up the diabetes. Cadbury mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, caramel. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Well. Um, I'm going to see Shelly's better with four but could do Shelly uh, Shelly, rats or elves <laughs> Which one do you think is faster? Mm, I don't know. Rats are they they can be a little slow, but uh they're all right. And uh Shelly 
kind of have to get to turn four before I'm just starting. So, and else, I'm, lo- I'm looking at eliminating players like by turn 10. So, that's how fast that point I'm going because I got like I got like 30 minutes to get this game done. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know if I have a fast enough deck for that. Um, well, we can call it if y'all want. Well, I want to play. I want to win. Let's see. I still got to make dinner. Dinner's going to dinner's gonna take like 20 minutes. Oh, that's, that's why I got like 30 minutes. Got uh, till 440, basically. Um, eh. Rats, maybe? Sure, you can do rats. I don't think it... Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. POA is in. Go. Who? Uh, Pack opening attic. Oh, POA is what you said. Yep. Go. So my chances of winning are slimming. (laughs) Uh, I need Spy to set up, though. You need, you need to uh, reset your. Uh, well, yeah. the, the whole game needs to be resetted. I've, yeah, yeah it's I know. I know. We just haven't figured out what deck I'm doing. You gonna play Shelly if there's gonna be four people? I could do Shelly. What is this one? Oh, Necros is back up too. Let's see. All right. Am I missing anything in rats? No. Seems like I'm legit there. Uh, that necros needs work, but it is back. Um, Shelly looks complete. Shelly should be good. Um. Elves are good. Elves are good. <clears throat> I, I appreciate you coming on the stream with me, DJ. Yeah, man. Uh just happened to be available, kind of. Like, I, I, I was up and BSing and I saw you were live. I was like, hey, let's see what's up. Doing, I do this. I was doing it every day, and then changed it to only Saturdays because I had trouble getting people to play during the week, and so I just started doing it on Saturdays only. You still doing your game tonight, Tortoise? What? You still playing your game tonight? Yeah. All right, cool. Sign me up. Yay. Well, I'll sign you up for sure. Plan on playing this deck tonight for the first deck. I upgraded it with Strong Back, so I want to see how it plays if I get to play it. Nice. Because, like I told DJ, that was one of the best cards in the set for my deck. Mm-hmm. For my deck. Strong Back. Wow, wow, wow. This camera arm is so nice. I told you. I know you even got, and somehow you even got the one I suggested for you, too. Sure did. Which one did you suggest? Um, I found it on Amazon. It's uh, it's one of those ones that you have to manually crank. You have to manually uh, unscrew everything and set it up so it's stagnant. Not one of those oh. bendy ones. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. That's the one I got. Yeah. Super magic arm. Super magic arm. Yeah. You get to. Yeah. Even though, even though it can get annoying readjusting everything, like when you need it for different things, but it's solid because it has those little grips that clamp into each other, so mm-hmm. it doesn't move. Well, all I do is just uh, look, take it, move the. So you got the clamp here. Right. 
I just move this over. I just unscrew that and move it over to my desk. Uh-huh. And then um, if I'm streaming, I just unleash in this clamp. And uh-huh. my camera's here and it just folds down to the desk. Right. Right. Uh, but you got right in the middle, though. Yeah, it's in the middle of my desk. Oh, uh, all right. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. No, if he wanted to, he could, he could um, configure it where it's off to the side. Because mm-hmm. he can clamp it at an angle if he wanted to. Oh, yeah. That was just like a $30, $30 uh, clamp. Mm-hmm. Right. Right here is the clamp, and then there's the first piece. And we got two more pieces right. like this. Which are just about yay big. And we got one, two, three of those on it. And I got tired of having that uh dang on tripod sitting in between my legs just to play commander. Right. Yeah, my mother-in-law bought this for me. That's pretty cool. Kept going to Best Buy and seeing if they had any, but they didn't have. They don't carry them. All right. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of things are moving to digital, even selling. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't expect them to win that game. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to get devoured by dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, well, I had, it was between you and Helmy, and I was like, well... I could have blocked yeah. some of the damage and possibly survived. Yeah, but it was a lot, dude. It was like 37 or something like that. You mm-hmm. could have blocked one of them. Or, you know, right. you could have blocked two of them. Yeah. If you blocked the 1010, you might have survived. Or the 1111, you could have survived, I think. Right. Because it didn't have uh, trample. Right. Because like, like, if I survived, I could have taken care of your board. Yeah. Then I, then I would just die to someone else. Yep. Yep. Oh, he had, uh, the guy was just here. He had a pretty good deck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I had to kill the one I did, I was going to lose. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Learning how to unequip was learning to unequip is, was interesting. Mm-hmm. I believe in you. Hey. Well, I guess I'm gonna go get some tea. I'll be I'll be right back. Ooh, I wish I had some tea. You need to get some coffee. Uh, I, I gotta show you this one uh, uh, when I get back. I'll show it to you. It's like the best one. It's better than the uh, non-sugar one. <laughs> All I got is energy drinks to drink. Yeah, <laughs> poor kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Bad enough, I have, bad enough. I get kidney stones. Ah, uh, do you just get them on sale or something? Because energy drinks are kind of expensive. Uh, we buy them by the case. Right, because they're usually like three dollars a pop. Yeah, we get them by the case. Like, I'll buy her two cases, and then my mother-in-law will buy two cases, so we keep stocked up on them. And then my wife drinks them all. (laughs) No wonder why you guys are wired. (laughs) (laughs) I I don't... I take it easy on the energy drinks. Like, I just drunk one, but... So I may not drink another one till maybe tomorrow or the next day. I take it kind of easy on. Yeah, 
I mean, I drink coffee pretty much throughout the whole day, so. <laughs> yeah. Coffee's life, dude. Yeah, it is. But it can also give you kidney stones. Anything with caffeine can give you kidney stones. Oh, yeah. True. <laughs> I know it gave me my last kidney stones. Mountain Dew? Yep. Two liters of Mountain Dew I was drinking a day. In a day. Two liters? That's not horrible. I mean, that's a lot, but that's not horrible. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. hashtag not sponsored. This is what I was talking about, uh, uh, Hillbilly. Hmm, cool. Peach, pineapple, yeah. mango. Don't like mango. You don't really yeah. taste the mango, oh. but yeah, this is really good. Hmm. Cool. Hey, what's up, Paco? Hey, hey how you doing? What's up? Uh, so what? I mean, I saw the pre thing on there that said uh, precon five to seven. But then I see Pant Laza. So like, what? Are, what are we doing? Eh, don't worry. Well, about we're trying game. to play some play something powerful at the moment because we're trying to rush the game. Yeah, cool. like rush the time. Wait, how powerful? Like seven or eight. I hate numbers. Um, <laughs> Hell no, it'd be okay. Okay. Yeah, the uh, first game was more pre-con level. Yep. I don't have Shamil in this deck. Well, Shamil doesn't need to go on every deck. I know. I think it does. <laughs> uh, that's good. Like it card. All right, here, I'll take a picture. Let me see. Oh, no. I didn't mean to scare you. Jeez. All right. Uh, yeah, so what are we doing? Kenzie Toolbox Tour. Yeah, I guess I'll bring the pain. Well, as long as it doesn't deal with showing your face, we're good. <laughs> Damn, food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So harsh. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not. I, I'm, I'm, probably, I'm probably worse than you, so you're good. Oh, uh, pretty sure it's complete. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. I believe I can fly. What you doing, what, kitty? You spooked yourself. I was going to try to take a picture of a cat in an Ikea bag, but when I, as soon as I creeped over there, I guess I scared her because she didn't hear me coming. And she just bolted it. Now she's standing out looking at me like, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Yeah. You're a kitty cat. You know that? Six, seven, you eight, think you're nine, hmm. ten. Is this uh is this streaming right now? Yep. Where's it streaming at? My channel. Okay. Give me a moment. Yeah, babies. I, I said in the uh, uh, thing, POA. I'm in the middle of watching basketball and cleaning and organizing. It, pardon me. Uh, no, no, like no worries, man. I'm like, like you're listening to today. another channel right now, too. So it's like, ah. Uh... Yeah, it sounds like you're doing everything today, Pax. Mm-hmm. It's going to be like me tomorrow, tomorrow after the show. And, you know, since I have a channel, I could, like, just kind of post that, hey, I'm playing Commander over here. So, you know, 
Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. The more the merrier. More the merrier. Am I gonna wait a hand with some land? There's four. Five. Uh, that'd be awesome if I drew into that land. There we go. Okay. I can't believe you. Yeah, I believe in you. I believe in you. You were you were incorrect to believe in me. But you know what? Nah. I'm gonna roll. <laughs> <laughs> I was incorrect. No. Uh, no uh, After all this time, I thought I was infallible, but <laughs> <laughs> you chose poorly. <laughs> <laughs> this is a slow hand, but I'm gonna keep it. All right. All right. Uh, is everybody ready? Oh, okay. No, I'm not. <clears throat> I'm missing like nine or ten cards. What? All right. <clears throat> uh, ten. Almost there. Yep. Uh, looks like I need to grab a different deck. All right. Uh, it makes sense. That's good because I'll admit I saw you pull out Shelly, then I'm like, oh, I should have grabbed one of my high high power decks. Yeah, no, it now I'm alarmed because I'm like, <laughs> I'm oh, where, well, really how am I missing ten cards? Uh, you know me, I really don't care. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's not complete. All right, I'll pick something else. Sorry, to hold you, know, you, guys. Can, you just take your rat stack and replace the commander with Shelly. There you go. Yeah, there yeah you right. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. I believe. I believe. I'm surprised you just didn't play your L's based off your playmat. Yeah, that's true. We'll go thematic. You know. That's Drawing, fine. Drawing it's not the commander, but still. I will admit I almost grabbed Boja and I was like, no, no. Uh, Don't grab Boja. Yeah, I'm playing my most 1v1 deck. Uh, it's a Voltron. Uh, yeah, that means a Voltron deck, right? Well, he particularly is Voltron. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I kind of, so I have a Thrun deck, right? So it's kind of the same spirit animal. Nice. Thrun the last roll? Uh, Thrun the, whatever the more recent Thrun is. But last uh, roll's okay. in Yeah, last roll's the original from the Innistrad era. I don't know what block he's from exactly. I think he's an M an M10 block. Uh, Matt, of course that. From the last troll, he was in New Phyrexia. Was it? Probably. I, I just remember the era he was in because, man, he was a menace to deal with. He was high, high in standard for a while during that time. I was completely out of the game at that time, so I'm trying to remember all right. Well, if you want to do the shuffler, I'm uh, good to go. All righty. All right. Put me first. Put me One, first. <laughs> two. Three. Four. And five. <laughs> now I got to do it again. <laughs> Rigged. Oh. <laughs> Rigged. Are you not All playing right. your Moth? Are you playing your Mothman deck again? No. All right. All right. I'll move that sticker. Mothman is so much fun. Oh yeah. 
I'm just one with yeah. it. I still think these stickers are cool. Yeah, they are. Can't wait to give them out. Like everybody wins a play mat. Everybody who gets a play mat is going to get a sticker with it. Go. Cool. Sweet. All right. All right. So just let me know when everybody's ready. I'm good. Yeah, that's one. I'm good. That's two. So I guess we're waiting at DJ. Well, I can start while DJ's finishing. Yeah, yeah, I can start. All right, I'll draw a card. Freaking hand. All right. Um, we're going to play Prairie Stream for land for turn. Pass turn. All right. I'll draw for turn. Play Path of Ancestry. And then pass turn. Okay, draw. I'm going to play the worst Bajuka Bog in history. Comes to play tap, pass. Yeah. Bajuka Bog. All right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll sacrifice my graveyard. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah two right. starts. <laughs> Forest. Uh oh, tapping. Uh, I see that target on my back. Sensei. Pass. You're no longer playing good, fair magic. In response. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right. Tap, draw a card. Hey, look. In respect for your channel, I won't flash what I was going to flash. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's nice to have that. Play two. Oh. Cast Invisible Stalker. Pass turn. Alrighty. On tape, my single land. Draw for turn. Yeah, I wish it was a land. <laughs> but it ain't, so I guess I will play Erotic Orchard. How then, exotic. Then pass turn. And tap. Draw. Play a forest, tap, tap, uh, cast far seek. I'm going to grab a triome. I'm going to pass turn as I shuffle and all that. All right, all right, all right. On tappy tappy, draw. I'm going to go ahead and play a Woodland Chasm tapped. I guess I'll go ahead and pay one and peek into my future. Ah. Well, if you want to peek in the future, you know they have a better card called Crystal Ball. (laughs) What's the fun in that? (laughs) Well, you're scrying instead of being able to draw cards. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, pass. <laughs> All right. I'm tap. Draw a card. Play Fortify Village for land for turn. Interest tapped. Pay two. Cast Sword of the Animist. Swing at Hillbilly for one. Unblockable. And Hexproof. There you go. Pass turn. All righty. Draw. Yay, a land. A foot. How you been, POA? What's that? How you been, man? Mossport Bridge. Doing okay. How are you doing? One. Yeah, I'm hanging in there, man. I feel like that's all we can do. Yeah. (laughs) Two, three, four. Two. Reckon this. And then pass turn. Tap, draw. Hey, 
when did you ramp? Last year with a party. Uh, ramping. All right, I'm going to go ahead. It's ramping it. Ramp. A uh, chromatic lantern for turn. And then I'm going to go yeah, ahead yeah. and play an overgrown tomb. It's going to come into play tapped, and I'm going to pass. I'm just going to. Wow. Ramp, 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 ramp. Yeah, just, just you know, just getting some mana. Um, hmm. Gotta be my mic fresh. We'll go ahead and play uh, Urborg. Everyone's got swamps. And. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Brain power for a swamp. <laughs> yeah. Um... I. I. You know, I'm just gonna play along with everyone, and uh, you know, just ramp a little bit. There you go. All right. With Dom's reach. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, I you can go ahead and pass while searching. All right. Untap. Untap. Draw a card. Hey. Two more of the lands. I got two more of the lands. Deserted beach. Yay. And. I'm going to pay two. I cast open the armory. And a tutor. So, silly question, POA. I'm pretty sure you've sold off any extras, but uh, you wouldn't happen to have an extra Lake of the Dead. Lake of the Dead? Yeah. Oh, no. They wouldn't think so. This was a shot, though. All right. My, revealing all that glitters. I sold my Lake of the Dead when I sold my collection back in 2011. When you sold your what? Collection in 2011. Oh, wow. Okay. Return to my hand. I got back into it. A single copy. So I have paid two. Ah. Equip Sword of the Animus to Invisible Stalker. And I am going to swing at packs of, of my pack opening attic for two. Unblockable, uh-huh. all that shenanigans. Then when I attack, I get a tutor for a, ba- a basic lamp and then play tap. There's, yeah, the attack trigger goes off. I get a basic forest. And that'll be a turn. All right, y'all. Untap. Draw for turn. Yay, land. Just tap the right. Play a forest. And. I can't do nothing yet. Four lands. So, tap three. Play Life Crafters, the Sagittary. You know, you're keep scary. Then I shall pass turn. Untap, draw. I'm going to play a Blood Crypt for turn, take two, for to play untapped. <laughs> so here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and bring out Mr. Henze. Then I'm going to blitz out Druid of Purification. 
When it mm -hmm. enters the battlefield, starting with me, each player may choose an artifact or enchantment that I don't control. Destroy each permanent chosen that way. I'm going to choose Sword of the Animist. All right. What's happening to it? So I have, I have a vote on Sword of the Animist to destroy this. Each person gets to pick something that doesn't belong to me that is an enchantment or artifact. All right. You sense uh, his I'm gonna, I was going to do this anyway. Well, I'm going to tap wait, wait. Let him no, no, you should choose since it's divine top two. And it has to resolve and then in the resolution. And you can and you can activate it. Right. And you can activate it and save it. Right. So he, he he's choosing since it's divine top. Okay. And then wait, why am I choosing that? Or no, he's choosing that? Tortoises. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. So I, and then um he'll be able to DJ. You guys uh, what, what, vote, for, vote for the same thing. What's the same thing? Two things have been chosen. Oh, yep. tortoise. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, tortoise. Wait, wait, what do you have over there, uh, Hillbilly? Uh, all I got is that artifact. Uh, it's got yeah. the beast here. Yeah, I got an artifact that allows me to describe one. Uh, yep, no sword. Okay, you don't want to kill that thing? All right, hold on. Sorry, I got to do something really quick. So if you uh, if you're right, so, so that means then if we go to the resolve step, so now uh, DJ, you can go ahead and do the top thing. Okay. In response. Okay. Then I'm gonna move to combat. Um, Tortoise, I know Tortoise walked away, but he's gonna take two, and he doesn't have any blockers. That's for attacking me. <laughs> it's fair. Um, then I'm going to move to my end step. This thing dies from blitzing, and then I draw a card from it dying. Pass. All right, untoppy toppy. I'll get my towel back. Um, all right, we'll play a four ass. We'll go ahead and pay for the swan or the top. I'm going to do said top. Oh. 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 Oh my. Um. Yeah. Okay. So we got that. <sighs> And I'll pay three for <clears throat> Mirror in the Nurture. And pass. All right. Sorry, I didn't realize I was not muted. My... No worries. You took two, Tortoise. All right. I took two. All right. One, two. Sorry, I'm in, I have to make dinner <laughs> at the same time as I'm doing this. Um, tap, draw a card. Pay four. Cast a blind archangel. Pay one green. Cast noble hierarch. Swing DJ for three. Oh, for what? No, it's a uh, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> it's a lot of exalted. Well, I just drew into Sublime Archangel, so I was like, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the play to do. Exalted up. <laughs> yep. And oh boy. And after uh, DJ takes a little love tap, I will clear in and pass turn to Hillbilly. All right. <laughs> I didn't love tap. That was POA. Oh, untap. Oh, yeah, he, he hit me in previous turn. Scry. I'll keep that. We'll draw for turn. I will play Rogue's Passage.
Let's see. Still can't play my commander. The red, green. Yeah, I can. Play my commander. Red, green, white, and two. Play my commander. Uh. Discover. Uh, Octroctron, Seer, Sacrifice, Return Target Dinosaur Car from your graveyard to your hand. Then, after that, I shall pass turn. Yep, that's it. All right, really quick. I wasn't, I wasn't get attacking DJ because I thought DJ attacked me. I was attacking DJ, and I called my hit to him a love tap. I wasn't trying to be a vengeful person. I'm, yeah. In, in in oh, did you swing at me for two or, or what? I swing at you for five. Oh snap! I didn't know that. Yeah. That's fine. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Not commander, right? No. Yeah, because game memory is not a thing. No. Right. Okay. No, this deck's unfair. <laughs> just, this deck is unfair if I just focus on one person. Play yeah. Swamp. Yeah. I'm just going to play Riveteer's Ascendancy. And, uh, you know what? I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to chill. We're going to pass. All right. I'm going to draw. Um... Let's see. I'm going to pay one green to top. One, two, three. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I got to do that. Okay, fine. All right. Um... I will go ahead and swap. Uh, play land for turn. Uh, oh, look at that. I get to scry one. Hey, I know what it is. Um, we will tap a four ass and play a Quarian Ranger. There's no response. I get a counter on home squirrel. Okay, and Dan uh, will pay three, one, two, three, for Imperius Perfect, picking that up here, right there, um, let's see. I will tap for, f so it's total power, so it's three, three. I'm going to return forest, so I have three floating. Return forest to hand. I'm going to just once return to untap an elf. Then I'm going to tap it again for six total. And... Um, yeah, I'm paying a big old target. I'm paying a big old target. Uh, Vigor. Pass. All right. Untap, untap, untap. Draw a card. Um, Vigor is the one where if you use that damage... <laughs> Anytime other damage. creatures, other creatures are dealt damage, you prevent that damage, and they get plus one plus one counters equal to the damage. 
do? Damn. So essentially, he makes almost everything unkillable to damage, and then they just get bigger from it. What? Yep. Okay. So we have to kill Vigor, unless you just do a more traditional board wipe. Right. Trying to think how I want to do this. So it's fine. All right. I'm pay four. I'm going to cast Rafika the mini. Enter combat. I'm going to swing at Hillbilly for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven double strike. Ooh. Unblockable. So he's taking 14. What? Pass a turn. Alrighty. Untap. Scry. Mm. Yeah, I'll take it. keep it. Draw for turn. Play unclaimed territory. Mm. One, two, three. Play Descendants Path. At the beginning of my upkeep, reveal the top card of your library. If the creature card with the that shares a creature type with a creature you control, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. If you don't cast it, then put it on the bottom of your library. Then one, two, three. All I can do except for attack. Can't play nothing. Uh your creatures have Vigilance, Tortoise. No, and I'm most likely not going to block. Um, give me a second. I got to step away for a minute. You know, if you attack me, I'll get rid of Vigor. All righty. Uh, I'll take you for uh, POA for four. On the ground. Commander. Is Pants Laws a trample? Nope. No. Okay. Just four commander damage on the ground. Yeah, so I blocked with Henzi. Henzi dies. Okay. When Henzi dies, I'm going to go ahead and tragic slip Vigor. He gets negative 13, negative 13. Nice. Meanie. Come on, man. Then after that, I shall pass turn. I know the power of it. <laughs> I may run bigger in quite a few days. Right, so. so, yeah, let's see. What do, what do we got? Perfect. Perfect. All right, I'm back. Did someone do something? I'm bouncing to me. I'm going to go ahead and blast this act. Okay. Boo. Boo. 
Uh, you blast him as act at their uh, hill building. Yeah. I'm going to crack a bloodstained mire, take damage. We we'll lose all the creatures. Lose yep. all the creatures. Yep. Yo. All righty. I had to slow down Tortoise. Oh, there's no slowing down Tortoise. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's why I'm super fast. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, that was a good move. I don't blame you. Yep. Just, just so I and what we caught, I, I just bloodstained mired. So, mm -hmm. sure we were on the same page. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I gotta go. step away really quick again. It's DJ's turn, isn't it? Or are you still going? Yeah, bring out Henzi. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play Evolutionary Leap, Return, and Pass. Oh, yeah. Untappy tappy, draw. Uh, go ahead and play a four A, and tap set forest for a top. Uh, I am curious, so I will look one, two, and three. <clears throat> I will leave that there. Okay, and I have four to cast my commander. All right. Pass. I'm tap to tap. Draw a card. <laughs> ouchie, ouch. Um, oh, my Lord. Pay green. Cast Glistener off. Pay three. Cast shielding plaques. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. Last turn. Alrighty. I'll untap. Uh -huh. okay. Green. Dry. Deal. Uh, uh, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, it shares a creature type. If it's a creature you control, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. If you don't cast from the bottom of your library, well, then I draw. Yeah. God, to so, pay two. To play our King Signet. And um, let's see, what's this one? So, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Five. That's all I can do. Nice turn. Okay. And tap. Draw. Go ahead and play a Spider Guardian for turn. All right. I'm going to blitz out Koku Show, the Evening Star. Uh, because he still has nice. the most health, I am going to move to combat and I'm going to attack Tortoise with 5 5 Flyer. He has he has haste. He does because he's blitzed. Oh, okay. So I take five. Okay. One, Move two, to post three. combat. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use evolutionary leap to sacrifice Koku Show. So if he dies, that means you all take five damage and I gain fifteen life. Ooh, jeez. Now there's going to be some triggers. So first off, because he was blitzed in, he died. I draw a card. 
this this will be. Then evolutionary leap will kick in. So sacrifice creature, reveal cards to the top of my library until I reveal a creature card. I may put that card into my hand and the rest of the bottom of my library in, in any random order. So that solemn simulacrum goes in my hand. Kind of a womp womp, but oh well. Riveteer's ascendancy then kicks in. When I sacrifice a creature, I may bear a creature back from the graveyard uh, of a lesser casting cost than the one that died. So Druid of Purification comes into play. When he comes into play, then starting with me and then it goes around, we all choose an artifact or enchantment to blow up that doesn't belong to me. So I am going to choose Descendant's Path. So now it is DJ's turn to choose something. Descendant. Okay, Tortoise. Descendant. Jesus Christ, you guys are... Descendant. You guys are playing for... <laughs> okay, so Descendant's Path does. Wait, wait, no, uh, Hillbilly has to choose. He'd probably choose mine, but I can so I can respond. He send it. Yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't say you can't choose your own. Oh, all right. Wasn't that a land? That's a enchantment. It's oh. one where you build a top card in your library. If it shares a creature type, you can put it into play. Otherwise oh, put it in the his path. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, so then in my post main, I'm going to go ahead and play the sad robot. And I get to what scribe or get a land. And I'm gonna pass. Okay. On tappy tappy. That's just my own goes. That's doing me more harm. I'm surprised you guys didn't choose shoot shielding plaques. That's what I thought you guys would choose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they wanna die. <laughs> <laughs> Like when they chose descendants, I'm like, I'm gonna go on there. Well, I chose that because I figured one of them would choose shielding plaques. Because <laughs> both cards are a problem. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and choose descendants path, and then hopefully DJ will then will choose shielding plaques. Right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about it. I, I was looking for artifacts, so <laughs> oh, is it supposed to be uh, artifacts or artifact or enchantments? Oh, okay. oh I, I I missed that part. Okay. Uh Okay. I guess I can do that. Yeah, I'm going to pay one to cry three. Dude. Okay. Uh... Oh. Uh, guess I'll leave it like that. All right. I'm going to tap this, steal that. One, two, three, four, five. For a doubling season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see, Tortoise or Hillbilly. Tortoise has more life, though. Uh, swinging commander at you. You you don't have a creature, right? Uh, tortoise. I do. What? Just one, I right? One, one, I have a one one right here. Oh, okay. Well, that menace. So, uh, two back at you, commander. All right. Now, normally I make two elves, but now I make four because doubling season. Sorry, Michigan State's beating the crap out of North Carolina to start. Nice. Plop. Okay, here we go. All right. Ouch. And tap, and tap. Draw a card. Pay three and cast strong back on Glistener Elm. Mm. Oh, yep. Play two, cast all that glitters on Glistener Elf. Oh, uh, it's a two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's player removal. And not to change the order I'm attacking because I just attacked him. Um, you can block. 
But I'm gonna swing ten at packs of uh, pack, uh, pack opening addict. Hey. Can't block him, so I take ten. He, he, he doesn't have flying. Isn't he unblockable? No, he just has hexproof. Oh, great. Great, great, great. I apologize. I am going to go ahead and throw the sad robot in front of him. There you go. Yeah, he's not unblockable yet. Yeah. All right, and that'll be my turn. All right. See, with this deck, I go around equally because, like I said, if I focus on one player, it'd be... It'd be um, I'll untap. Sad. Scry one. I'll keep it. Draw for turn. Play a forest. Hmm. Hmm. See how many lands I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here comes a big dino. Hmm. Four, five, six. Four, five. Whites. How many whites do I have? One. And then four, two. So that's three. I'm playing commander with the ability to pack, pack up any attic and keep Four, five. Oh, you just won't stop it. Play the new project. Play uh, Temple or. A list star. If a source would deal damage to another dinosaur, you control, prevent all but one of that damage. What's the name of it? Oh, Temple Altasaur. Got it. And then after that, you'll pass turn. Okay. Um, are you guys ready for some uh, tax fraud? Go Here. for it. You're gonna have to bear with me. There's gonna be uh, lots of triggers and stacking of triggers. Okay. Draw. Play luxury suite for turn. Okay. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and blitz out Itali Primal Conquer. Ooh. When Itali Primal Conquer enters the battlefield, each player exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile a non land card. I may cast any number of spells from among the non land cards. Exile oh, you're still my top. Pain. Their mana cost. So I will get your top um, for each player, which includes me. So, ah. All right. So, no, it stays exiled. Rip, rip y'all, Raptor. Night of Glory. Raptor. And then what's the other one up there? Where is it? Jaw Raptor, is it? Yeah. It has enraged whenever it has dealt damage, draw a card. Four or five. Whenever it's dealt damage, it draws a card. All right. You don't have to keep it out. I'll just put that there. And then, what's that thing? Knight of Glory. It's a 2 1 protection from black and is exalted. Uh, well, I'm going to take it because it's free. One pro black. 
I guess exalted matters. And then I get divine top. Boo. Woo. <laughs> yeah. All right. So then I also put out Samit, Vizier of Nak. Uh, is it Nakhtenmum? Something like that. I don't know. Whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, if that if that creature entered the battlefield this turn, I get to draw a card. So that's what it does. I'm going to move to combat. Um, I'm first going to go ahead and swing Itali over at DJ. 7-7 seven, seven Trampler. Take it. Take it. All right. So then I do get to draw a card thanks to Summit. Wait, I was at 30. Okay. 23. Yep. All right, moving to my post combat. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice that to the evolutionary leap, which allows me to draw a card because I did blitz it. Then evolutionary leap. Um, I'm going to reveal cards until I reveal a creature card. Protein Hulk. That will go to my hand. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. Then Riveteer's Ascendancy will kick in, which will allow me to return a card to the battlefield tapped instead of lesser casting cost. I'm going to return Kokusho back. <clears throat> okay. Whew. All right. So then I'm going to go ahead and... Okay. I'm going to go ahead in my second main phase. I'll still do that. Yep, I'm going to blitz out Phyrexian Delver. When it enters the battlefield, I return target creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield. I lose life equal to that card's mana value. I'm going to bring out Itali. I'm going to take seven. And we're going to do the thing again. Alan Murray's call. Okay. Rampant growth. Okay. Uh, Rex Sage. Okay. So I'm going to take Rex Sage and I'm going to blow up uh, Strong Back. Wait, does it, wait, does it only do artifacts or does it artifacts and enchantments? Yeah. Artifact enchantment. Artifacts and enchantments. Oh, yeah, blow up Strong Back. Um, I'm going to, Eladomri's call allows me to grab a creature out of my library, right? Put it in my hand. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to ramp it real too. All right. And then I'm going to put Song of the Dryads. And I'm going to, let's see here. Um, You'll still be able to use it for its abilities, but I'm going to put it on Lathril, and it's now a colorless forest land. <sighs> okay. And then I get to... It doesn't destroy, right? Nope, it doesn't destroy. It's just mm. now a land. Is that an enchantment, or...? Yep, it's an enchantment. Oh, Okay. I ramp in growth. And then the Rex Sage. Uh, I think it's 2 2, right? Yeah, it's a 2 1 now. 2 2 2 1? The Rex Sage is a 2 1, yes. 2 1. Okay. Order. Cool. All right. Well, that was really. And then I'm going to go ahead at this point and move to my end step. Phyrexian Delver will die uh, due to the Blitz trigger. Nah, nah I'm, going to, I'm going to go ahead and evolutionary leap it.
Okay, Ravenous Troop of Copper goes in my hand. Then I get to take something that's a four or less out of my graveyard, Psalm Simulacrum. And then I get to, well, I'm going to, I guess, stack the triggers, whatever. I'll just draw a card from the Blitz die and then grab a land. All right, and that's it for my shenanigans for the turn. Okay, on Tappy Tappy. Draw a card. Um, gonna pay. Oh, question: If I get rid of that enchantment and I tap it for a land, it doesn't come into play tapped. It will come into play tapped, or or what? It'll still remain tapped. Oh, okay. Uh, does it have summoning sickness since it's already been out? Yeah, it's already been out. So. Okay. So I'm going to pay one, two, three to Molster and Pulse, pulse the, uh, that enchantment. Yep. You want to know a cool trick, DJ? If you target one of your elf tokens, they'll remove all your elf tokens. That That's right? such a deal. <laughs> oh my god, let me uh take backsies. No. <laughs> Such a deal. <laughs> right. What what is uh Red Rooster's tendency or what, what does that do? I forget. Whenever I sacrifice a creature in any way, shape, or form, I may return a target creature card with lesser mana value than than the one that I just that just died uh to the graveyard tapped. Oh sorry, to the battlefield tapped. I can only do it once per turn. Uh, do you have any other sackers? Uh, evolutionary, leap, right? evolutionary leap. Uh, Henzi is effectively a sacker. Huh. Yeah, I got a lot of sackers. Uh, okay, we'll get rid of that. Uh, pizza fry it. The uh, Sensei. Sensei. That's uh, that's a good call. And uh, I've been picking on tortoise. What what uh what do you got over there um for blockers? Uh, hillbilly. All I got is a little three four creature. All right. Well, tortoise has more. I'll I'll just go one through three tortoise. Uh, the rest you hillbilly. Bing. Because you only have the one creature, correct? Uh, yep. Tortoise? Or sorry, uh, yeah. Tortoise? Yeah, so you're doing three damage to me? Uh, Three? What do you mean? I thought you said you are attacking you for three. No, no, no. Um, hitting you for two, Commander. All right. So does that hit? Yeah, it has to. I, I, my creature's tap. Okay. And then uh, I get uh, one... Two, uh, three, four, and that is it for me. All right, Taurus is going to tap, 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 draw a card. Uh, lumbering falls. I'm going to skip off to the loo. I'll be right back. Pay three. Cast Idyllic Tutor. I'm going to force my death this turn. Hey. hey, Tom. What's going on? Welcome to the channel. Let's see. What will make someone destroy me? Let's see. Uh, you ain't got to worry about me. Well, it's DJ's turn right now. He passed. It's your turn. No, no, I mean, I mean, for attacking. Oh. I mean, I'm the threat. Right, but I can't, like. I mean, hold on, hold on. Lateral's always the threat. What am I talking about? <laughs> right. All right, I'm trying to do math. This is here. <laughs> I don't got that. 
No. Where are you? All right. Okay, these two cards. Which one's more more threatening? Let's see. Guess that would be. Um, search for ethel armor. It had been so neat if Strombach was still on the battlefield. Damn, that card's ridiculous. I know. When I saw that card, I'm like, Rafik is getting that card. <laughs> uh, I even took out I took out Shielding um Shielded by Faith out for, for it. I'm like, that's such a better change. card overall. Yeah. <sighs> and then I'm gonna pay white. Cast Ethel Armor. Making my creature a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Oh, DJ's not here. DJ's not here. I'm back. What I miss? Oh, you're about to be attacked. Oh. I'm going to attack you for. Seven infect first strike. No more double strike. Not at the moment. <laughs> so I take seven infect. Yeah. Lovely. I was trying not to target you. I'm I'm still attacking <laughs> in order. Like I'm going I'm player by player here. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's right. a game, bro. All righty. Although POA might have something to say about it. I don't know. What? Well, I don't know. Uh, I think your biggest threat right now. Uh, yeah. The factor is uh, kind of scary. No question. I mean, he could have attacked me. I, I wouldn't be okay right. with that. I would just go through the sad robot in front of it. I will scry one. So you took seven, DJ? Uh, seven from what? We'll keep the yeah, he hit me with the infector. Yeah, you still take damage and the infect. What? I thought you just took the infect. Nope. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Right. So it's seven infect damage. So it's still damage. But it just counts for a turn. Up. A two. A. One green. Yeah. Well, that's my first time being able to play a doubling season, so that's neat. To play far, <laughs> to play far or seek. Search for a plains, island, swamp, or mountain. Yep, yep. And I ain't got no planes. I'll get a planes. I bet. I bet. Uh, DJ's wanting to order some uh, French fried potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have potatoes with that. <laughs> That's right. All right, comes in taps. Graveyard. Uh, let's see. 
two, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six. Hey, Tom, now. If you forgot, what's up? Two. Tom. Three, four, six. Play from the rubble. Say enchantments. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type, dinosaur. At the beginning of your end step, return target cards from the chosen type from your graveyard to the battlefield with, with a finality counter on it. Uh, Pretty good. Pretty good. Then after that, can't attack you. Or is almost swing three, three at you. Yeah, swing three at me. All right. And pass turn. Wide open. <laughs> three. That's right. You're next in the pecking order. That's fine. <laughs> That's if I live long enough to get there. Mm. Go ahead and kill me if you can. Return POA. Yeah, I did some taps and I drew, and now I'm thinking. Give me a second here. Yes. POA is like thinking. Can I get 20 triggers off this game? This this exactly. game. yes, that, that's actually yeah. I'm trying I'm trying to put things in order in my head and see if it works. I don't think too that hard. You sense. might hurt yourself. You hear? Nah, I I, I play trigger happy decks. <laughs> it's, it's kind of my thing. Um, but you have to place things in order and see if it actually works. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. YOLO. YOLO. I'm going to go ahead and play Doors of Durin. Uh, whenever I attack, I scry two, and then I may reveal the top card of my library. If it is a creature card, put it onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. And then it's got some stuff for dwarves and elves, but those don't matter to me. I'm going to blitz out Protein Hulk. Oh, you're going to flash him? No, not flash him, sack him. I mean, he's, he's going to sack in some way, shape, or form anyway, because I blitzed him. All right. Move to combat. Um, Tortoise scares the hell out of me. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all I got to do is make that thing unblockable and give it a little bit more damage, and like anybody's done. It is. It's already ugly, I think, or Tom. <laughs> it's, it's, well, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's almost there, right, to, to his one-shot kill. Um, okay. I hate to do this to him. Uh, you're fine. I, uh, I, 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 when I was searching up Ethereal Armor, I'm like, what's going to make me a target first? <laughs> Swing at me. <laughs> Yeah, I can. He probably can wipe out two less than one turn. Yeah, it's possible. Kind of, that's, it's, that's what I'm trying to add up here. Mm, I, that's what I was assuming. This deck ain't so, working too good today. Today, the dinosaurs are going to live the last of their lives. Yep. <laughs> it was the time of their jive. Yep. They, become, they become an extinct today. 
Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to have Rexage, Raptor, the stupid 2 1 Night thingy. Hey. Simit. And Itali coming at Tortoise. All right. And then Druid, Solemn Simulacrum, and Coco Show coming over at DJ. So what's coming at that, me? So that um Coco Show and this 2-2 two, two, and this 2-3. Then I'm gonna trigger the doors of Durin, scry two. Oh, oh god, that card is so good, but it does not help me. You're both going on the bottom. I'm gonna play dumb luck here. Okay. Okay, flip the top card. Ah with yeah, journey to eternity. With okay. Nonetheless, so that is 10, 17 coming at Tortoise. 17. All right. Any of that commander? Uh, none of that is commander. All right. Oh, sorry. Uh, hold on. Wait a second. I forgot about this guy off to the side. I was saving him. So, okay. And Protein Hulk is coming at DJ also. That's better. All right. So that's just uh, a protein. Uh, okay. So, so you know, got trample. Five five flyer, a six six with nothing, a two three and a two two. I'll block the six six. Okay. Now what's the new total? What's up? What's the new total? So now it's nine. Nine. Yep. Oh. Um. Yep. Yeah. None of its commander, right? Uh, nope. Nope. None of its commander. All right. Okay. Move to post. First thing, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice Kokusho to the evolutionary leap. Tortoise is dead. Yep. So you all take five. Tortoise takes four. So I gain 14. So we lose five. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Five, five, five. And then I got to do the evolutionary leap thing. Oh, vindictive witch was in my hand. That's fun. Well, that's really fun. That's a fun card for me. All right, I guess you lose Night of Glory right now. Huh? Yep, I do. You're right. He goes by back. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Do it. Yeah, I should totally do it. I'm gonna go ahead and blitz out Vindictive Lich. When he dies, choose one or more. Each mode must target a different player. So it's gonna do some things in a moment here. Okay, so then do I have anything else? We have one more land. We could. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and evolutionary leap since he's going to die anyway. My protein hulk. So first I'll do the protein hulk. Sorry, first I'll do the evolutionary leap trigger and then the protein hulk trigger. So ancient brass dragon goes to my hand. Then I'm going to do the protein hulk trigger. So I get to put out a total of six mana value onto the battlefield. Fun card for me might be Court of the, of the Night. I'm going to put out the Green Warden of Marasa. When it enters the battlefield, I'm going to return target card from my graveyard to my hand. Hmm. And so I'm going to go ahead and return Coco Show. <coughs> okay. Move to my end step. Um, Vindictive Lich, since it, since it was blitzed, it does die. I do draw a card thanks to it dying. Then I get triggers. So mm -hmm. target opponent loses five life. DJ, you're going to lose five life. Yep. And then target opponent sacrifices a creature. He'll be able to sacrifice a creature. Okay. 
and pass. Sheesh. All righty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you said quick game. Yep. Yeah. I'll scry. I'll get this on the bottom. That wipe kind of slowed me down a bit. Okay. Can't, can't let elves get crazy. Yeah, if you didn't mess with my commander, I could have uh, got rid of a couple of uh, your leap and the other thing, but how to get my commander back. The, the right. biggest thing I read on the top of my deck was Mimic Vat, and mm. combining Mimic Vat with Koku Show just provides so much fun for me. Oh, I bet. Play land for turn. Making Koku Shows. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> it's 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 oh god, it's so mean. This is the, my tuned down version of this deck. I just think it used to be worse. Dang, seven, eight, nine. Let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Ray picks. Uh, Maltasaur. It's a 10 10. When it enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. There you go. With depth damage, so it fights you... up to one target creature you don't control. Yeah. What are you going to kill? Uh, what's your strongest creature? Uh, probably Itali, who's seven seven. Fight it. Get Itali. Itali loses to a bigger dinosaur. And then shoot, I need another land. Mm, after that, watch your pass turn. Okay. To be over in a moment. Yep. Play land. Blitz out, Coca Show. Play Zia Tora, the incinerator. And Tom says Go that's ahead. it. Tom says that's a nice blitz deck you get out there, POA. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and attack you with Coca Show. What's the power? It's five, and then I get to do the doors of Durin thing. It's five. Okay. I'll block you with my 10 10. <laughs> then I will fight so uh, your next well, your your next strong. Your dinosaur is not flying though, unfortunately. It's not oh, it's flying. And, and yeah. on top of that, oh. so I get to do the door of the Durin thing. Never mind. So I tried to right now. Um, Noxious Gear Hulk's on top. I'm going to play that. And he comes into play, destroys another target creature. I'm going to kill your Altasaur. Okay. So take the five. <clears throat> um, move to post combat. Move to end step. Um, Sacrifice trigger goes on the stack, but I'm going to put Zia Torres in front of it. Zia Torres is going to go ahead and trigger Koko Show, and it's going to throw five at your face. And then Koko Show dies, so then you take another five damage from that. Good game. Game. Whew. Good game. What I had under my land here was uh, Itali Primal Storm. Whew. I was getting ready uh, to play that next turn. As a favorite, I love that card. I have it in here too. It's too much, too much fun. GG. Yeah, good game. Yeah, good game. Thanks for. Uh, I know you were ready to jump in the first one, but thanks for jumping in the second. Yeah. Well, I do awesome. this. Yeah. All right. Um, I do the, the Commander games every Saturday around two o'clock Central Standard Time. I'd appreciate it if everybody would uh, like the stream. And once we get to 400 subs, 
It will be a giveaway. We are only three subs away from doing the giveaway. Nice. And um, I do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, POA, for joining in on the second game. Appreciate yeah. you. Uh, and I appreciate you, DJ and Tortoise. Yeah. Uh, thank y'all for coming. And hope everybody in the chat there and all the people here has a good day. And if there's anybody who wants to chill, they can now's the time to chill. Yeah, I'll be uh, live here in one hour and I don't know, some minutes. Like, uh, 11 minutes. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> 11, 11 30 ish or one hour 30 ish minutes. I'll throw the link down. I'm just like, you, I don't know, dude. What are you streaming today? Uh, today, Hello. um, mail day, and then uh, you weren't a part of it way back when, but uh, got the keychain club. Uh, sold off a bunch of keychains, uh, and I said I've been to do random giveaways for that for the help. And uh, yeah, uh, good to spin off for that. So hey, I don't know. Stuff. I don't know if you guys like the game Stardew Valley or have one a copy. But uh, Nintendo Switch are selling it for two bucks right now. Cool. Bucks. Not not familiar. All right, that's probably not up your alley. I don't have a Switch. It's it's kind of like a. RPG version. It's kind of like an RP, uh, 2D RPG 8 bit version of Minecraft. Oh, okay. Kind of. But, it just, it is, but you can, like, you can build relationships in the game. You can get married in the game. You can have children. My wife really likes the game, but like, it was like a $20 game forever. But today it's on sale for $2. Nice. So if that kind of game, or if you want to check it out, go check it out. Like, it's worth the money for two bucks. That's all I'm saying. Like, I might download it myself and start playing it instead of just Animal Crossing on uh, the Nintendo Switch. You got anything to shill, uh, Tortoise? Oh, shill section. Oh, I don't really the shill section. Um, <laughs> so, today on the shill section, um, coming up this shill, week. Shill, shill, Coming up this week on Wednesday, I'm thinking about doing it on the 4.30 time slot. Uh, what I normally did try to do Wednesdays, uh, doing the giveaway for the op people in the auction and the people mm. and the channel, probably the same video, but two different giveaways for playmats, uh, custom playmats nice. that look exactly mm. like this playmat right here. Channel playmats, uh, we're giving those away, giving rolling off to give those away to people in live. Um, you know, but I have to, um, I want you to keep an eye out because I'll make a post or a video for you to comment on for Wednesday's live so I can um, comment pick from that particular video. So keep an eye out for that video like tomorrow. Uh, POA, you that's got all any... I got to show. Right. POA, you got anything to show? Not really. All right. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I, I take it. Right. I take it. Packs. That's it. All right. I'll yeah. take it. Packs of awesome. Really, uh, ran over us. Yeah, you did. Well, you guys all smoked. He did, smoke he did a good. Finally, job. I got one. Sweet. Well, okay. Everybody has you a good good evening, and make sure you check right. uh, Tortoise and DJ Longhair out. And I'll we'll be seeing you. Have a peaceful, right, have a good one every day. Bye. Have a good one.